Well, my fellow Beach Gearhead friend, I have no idea how this video is gonna end. I was planning on setting up the new Wikipo Beach Tent at the beach for the first time, but it's a bit breezy today. I mean, look at this. I can't even keep my lucky hat from blowing off my head. But boy, it is a beautiful day in Cape Cod Bay and I'm gonna set it up anyway. So yeah, the Wikipo Company, which is well known for their inflatable loungers, is now in the crazy competitive beach tent business. Wikipo isn't paying me for this review, but they did send me two free beach shapes to check out. They sent me a nine by 10 foot beach canopy and an 11 by an 11 foot beach canopy. I'm not sure which one I grabbed out of my Jeep, but we'll find out soon enough. We'll also find out if I'm gonna be able to set this guy up in the wind and the wind is picking up. Now the setup instructions for the Wikipo are different than other beach canopies. They first want us to secure the poles to these squares on the corners of the beach canopy before we fill up the anchor bags. Normally I would fill up the anchor bags and then deal with the poles. But these bungee loops are having a hard time holding onto the spandex covered pole tops and the wind is blowing my whole operation out of whack. Okay, it took me a few minutes, but I've got the poles connected to the canopy, and now it's time to fill up the anchor bags. Jenny, who's been emailing me from Wikipo, told me that they made their beach tent with large capacity anchor bags. And let me tell you, she was not kidding. They're definitely the biggest anchor bags that I've ever seen with a beach canopy, and it's taken me a while to fill them up, which is not a bad thing, because all this weight and tension should keep this beach canopy from becoming a giant beach gear guy trap. Now here's a little glimpse behind the scenes. I forgot my weight bag for my tripod, so I had to improvise. Okay, I've made my giant X shape on the beach, and the moment of truth is now upon us. It's time to raise up the canopy, and whoa, whoa Houston, we have a problem. Let me see. Yes, all the bungee loops have popped off. Now there's just too much fabric for the bungee loops to hold on to. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna secure each pole top to one layer of fabric, which is probably what I should have done before. All right, take two. Let's try to prop up this beach canopy one more time. Now I'm gonna do this fast, so the first pole I raise up doesn't have to do all the work on its own for too long. Cool, okay, the Wikipo beach tent is now up, but for how long? It's getting pretty gusty, and my Rockfield grocery bag didn't exactly pass the MacGyver test. Now this is definitely the 11 square footer, which means the poles are seven feet, eight inches long. Now let's check this out. The aluminum poles are not bending. They are holding strong. The wind is flowing right through the beach canopy. Having the poles on the outer corners really cuts down on the resistance. The spandex material and the stitching are holding together, but what's really impressing me right now is that the anchor bags did not move. I mean, they didn't budge at all. And let me tell you, in these conditions, anchor bags always move if they're not buried in the sand, especially with a four pole setup. Okay, it's been over an hour now and the Wikipo beach tent is still up and I haven't touched it. That's pretty darn impressive. But here's the big question. Will the Wikipo beach tent replace my top two beach canopies I reviewed in this video? Watch it right now and tell me what you think.